gonna do some name dropping. Um, I know my hair doesn't look the best, but you know, like it's not a big deal. I mean, it's a big, it's a deal. It's not a big one. My hair is naturally curly and wavy, and it's always, you know, maybe I should have straightened it because I would have looked better. But you know what? Today I just feel like, um, well, not today, but like I just feel like making a video right now. Um, that happens to be today. Uh, that was really kind of lame, um, beginning of a video, but I don't care. Um, yeah, so we're going through with this. And it doesn't look like I have eyeliner on my top lids on the right, but I do, I promise. See? <laughs> I like, I like how it's, so it's, it's blue. It's supposed to be blue, but it looks purple when I put it on. It looks more, it reminds me more like a purple color. Um, I just was gonna talk about some people who inspire me today. Because, um, they, they have made a really big impact on my life and some of these people are dead. And they've made the most impact on my life in, despite being dead. And I just was going to talk about some of them. Um, Emily Dickinson is one. I especially like her poem, I Felt a Funeral in My Brain. Because I can relate to that. In the past I can relate to that. Langston Hughes, I love his poetry. Edgar Allan Poe, I love him. I love Edgar Allan Poe because he was a writer like me. And he, you know, he wrote from his heart and he wrote from his soul and you could really tell in his writings that he really loved what he did and he wrote from everything that he had in him. And that's what I love doing too. I write songs and I like writing poems and I like writing stories, that's what I do. And I love singing too. Um, H.P. Lovecraft, I love him because all of his stories are written from the same place, the heart and the soul. And he, his stories are so detailed. Um, I think some of my favorite of his stories are Under the Pyramids. Uh, off the top of my head, I can't remember some of his other stories. I don't have his book right now with me. Um, on hand to look at the, to actually look at the stories that I, I haven't wrote, I haven't, I've wrote. I haven't, I mean, I haven't read in a long time, but I love how his, how his poetry, well, I think H.P. Lovecraft might have written some poems too. I actually was like doing some research a while ago and I found that he actually, he's written poems before, which I did not know that. I didn't know that H.P. Lovecraft wrote poetry, but apparently he did. He's written poetry before. Um, also, I'm inspired by Stephen King because he's very, He's just a phenomenal writer and he really writes from everything he has to his heart and his soul and that's really cool. Um, this was just a video about people who inspire me and why. Um, and I think that's cool that they have that much of an impact that even though some of these people that I've mentioned they're gone, their legacy still lives on and the simplest of things.